Huntsville. All right, so things really haven't felt normal for a couple of years, and the word normal is a word that has never been more significant. It is something that so many have longed for as we struggle to move beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. As WVTM 13 Ship Scarborough explains, the normal we once knew may never be again. COVID cases and hospitalizations are declining steadily in Alabama as the recent Omicron wave starts to fade. But doctors say by no means are we back to normal as we once knew it. I long to return to a day where I can walk into a store uh, without even thinking about should I wear a mask because, you know, if, if I pick something up, it's no big deal and, and uh, life moves on. We're just not there. The state's positivity rate is still more than three times the limit doctors consider safe. For those who have been sick recently, it hasn't exactly been a quick road to recovery. That includes Tuscaloosa City Council President Kip Tyner's 90-year-old mother. The uh, extreme fatigue is what she's dealing with now. Um, very grateful that she's able to stand on her own um, for a little period of time. That's something she couldn't do just a couple of weeks ago. For healthcare workers, a return to the old norm seems even more unlikely. After all, the healthcare industry as a whole has far fewer workers than when the pandemic started. I don't think we'll ever go back to where we were. I don't think we can go back to where we were. Doctors say a new normal, more similar to the normal we once knew, isn't totally out of the question. Just not now and likely not this year with additional surges expected. 20% of the healthcare workers in the United States are estimated to have left health care during the COVID pandemic. Over a half million health care workers. It's estimated we'll be into 2025 before we get back to the level of health care workers that we had prior to the pandemic. COVID still holding a tight grip on Alabama and the nation. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.